All right, hello, my internet friends, and welcome to the hot, 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 hottest damn show on the internet. It is talking mayhem mania, and you know I'm your pal in the mainstream media, your favorite, and my guest today, Matt Light, my <laughs> friend, number one fan. <laughs> Anyway, that's what's going on, Matt. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's happening. It's going. Here we go. <laughs> um, I'm sorry to put you in the awkward position of having to play Mayhem Mania tonight. But, uh, oh, yeah, I bombed. Uh, you seem to find, yeah, well, you know, there's always tomorrow. Well, maybe not for you. Because <laughs> we got we got, him, we got him backed up for miles to play Mayhem Mania, Sorg. It's crazy. I had to put out, like, the bat signal before the show tonight. Who wants in? Because, you know, there's only one more week left after the day. Right, just did this round. Next week is round eight of Mayhem Mania, and then March twenty sixth, it's Patreon in the bank. You got to pay to play, kids. You want to be in on this? Patreon dot com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. And I'm telling you, the more you give the sorgi, the more you get to play. So bring what? on that dinero. Make it happen. What the hell is so oh, funny? So I don't know. I'm, I'm not running a pledge I'm, drive I'm here for WQED. This is a serious hustle, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make some money. We're going to make some money. Are we not making money, Sorg? Yeah, we are. Yep. How much am I going to... Are we making more or less than the standard um, opening act for Matt Light on the comedy <laughs> circuit? <laughs> We might be at least even. <laughs> All right. That's the finger pointer. All right, here's the matches real quick. Sorry. Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan versus Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper created by Bobby. Uh, Cassius Ono and Cesaro versus Keith Lee and Dominic Dijakovic versus The Colognes created by Alex Cars. Um, we spun the um, very exciting <laughs> punishment wheel this week was the wheel of trapped in a main roster tag team. It landed on Epico Cologne. Yeah, that was the best possible outcome, I think. More on that in a second. Leo Rush versus Kofi Kingston versus Mustafa Ali versus Braun Strowman, created by Matt Light. Dave Podner was part of that for a hot minute, but uh, then Matt Light came and did his own thing. That's okay, Matt. You didn't do anything wrong. But um, the, <laughs> Dave Podner gets to come back next week under the uh, stipulations of the Alex Cars rule. Uh, Walter versus Samoa Joe, created by Ty Cross. AJ Styles versus Finn Balor, created by Litty. The Miz versus EC3, created by Brandon. Also, Brandon made Seth Rollins versus Aleister Black versus Ricochet. He's doing good. Oh, he's on Mia the board Yim twice. Versus Becky Lynch, created by Tina. And don't forget our two matches that have made it to the super card. Elias versus the Velveteen Dream. Sorgi. And Bobby's match, Triconics versus Tri-Pirates. Can I state, I just feel already accomplished the Mayhem Mania. And that's so rare. Uh, <laughs> like I feel I'm, like you're getting anywhere. I'm okay. I'm like I don't need to do anything else. Just watch all the rest of you. Well, that's good. Wiggle about. I, I don't know if I can get you in for another move anyway. So <laughs> that's <good>. great. <laughs> that's fine. Um, but I wanted to say one thing real quick. See, Alex Cars. You know, some people see Matt Light. There's a there's a <laughs> game within the game here. Some people are just showing up and making matches, and some people are playing the game. There is a game. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a it's the game of human chess, you know. So Alex Cars thinks he's real smart, you see. So for two straight times we had him on for Mayhem Mania, and Alex Cars comes rolling in with No Way Jose versus Zack Ryder. Twice he does this. He makes this move. Second time he tries it, someone comes in later in the round and says, "Hell no!" Kills this match, brings it back in. Alex Cars is like, "Ha ha ha! It's okay. Alex Cars rules. I'll be back next week. I just got myself an extra move." So while most people you know, are going to get a maximum of three moves total during Mayhem Mania. Alex Cars has actually had four. But I would ask Alex Cars, what have you really accomplished with your four moves? Probably next to nothing uh, because you ended up with the punishment and you spun up Epico Cologne. So now you got nothing. This match, you know, God help so you. So he's, he's like the guy that's on Wheel of Fortune. He already knows the puzzle. Yeah, keeps rolling, 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 and hits yeah. bankrupt. He's like, I'm trying to, yeah, something like that. And he is just like, he thinks he's playing like the game above the game, but I think he's overplaying it. He, yeah. he overplayed it. And, he and then there's play. me, I'll who's tell just you who's, one and done. Yeah, one and done. You're good to go. I'll tell you who's, Brandon's playing the game. See, he's got two matches still on here. He's doing awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, we were wondering a little bit earlier, Sorg. How many Twitter followers do you think Epico Cologne has? <laughs> really? Yeah. 
I did guess. an over and under. Uh, over and under. I mean, I would say uh, twenty thousand. Just twenty k. Okay. Just, just for twenty k. Uh, that has to be the low ball. Just for being on WWE, right? All right. Well, we asked Larry. Larry thinks thirteen k. Matt Light thinks he's got sixty four k. Let's look it up real quick. Epico. Maybe we'll send him a tweet tonight. Will you send Epico a tweet? <laughs> He'll probably respond. Epico. There he <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah. What's he up to? Has. Oh my God. Epico has got 180 and a half thousand followers. Does he have like? It's a lot. Is it that's the entire good. population Puerto of Puerto Rico? Rico. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I mean, he's representing, right? So right. The, so the people are going to step up for him. Yep. So. Hey, 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 Epico. Oh, the wide. Just wanted tweeting. to let you know. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know. Hey, hey Epico. Getting infernal hands. We haven't hey, done Epico. a live tweeting on the show Here's for a while. Yeah. Last year we were like tweeting at Renee Young every episode of Talking Renee Young. We decided to leave her alone. She's got a lot going on now. Just wanted to let you know you got booked on talking or on Mayhem Mania. Don't ask how. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever responded to these tweets? Uh, no. <laughs> it's not going to keep us from trying. Let's no, I think that's what I makes mean, it more fun. Yeah. Don't ask how. Smiley face. <laughs> and that's from the mainstream ad account, correct? Absolutely. I don't All have right. access to your stuff. Don't ask how. That's, that's probably for Ha-ha. the best. Tell. What's the other? Primo, we said hi. <laughs> Say, tell the other guy. We said hi. <laughs> I should get his name wrong. Tell, tell Carnero we said hi. No, no, tell Primo. Okay. Sent. All right. That's on its way. Um, Jeez. You know, we wanted to have Bobby on. Uh, Bobby's looking for a job, everybody. Bobby FJ Town. So if you're looking for a really guy who can make great Mayhem Mania matches and loves wrestling and has a hell of a lot of punk, Funko Pops, there's it's probably a huge job market in Johnstown, huh? Yeah. A lot of job huge. fairs. I feel like every, when I've been there, it literally looks like everybody's collecting unemployment. Yeah. Like, it's just, it, it, there's nothing to do there. Yeah. Literally nothing. So I was wondering, like, when you were out in Johnstown and you make uh, you make jokes about the flood, does that get laughs? Uh, it does, but it not as, it, it's like, haha, what else? <laughs> it's, it's like, it's not like, haha. Like hundred thousand people died. Like it's not. Well, like no, because they they didn't know them. Oh well, yeah. You know oh what I mean. God, that was a while ago. Yeah. You know we're still paying that tax. Yeah. That's insane. Well, it was a big mess. No, it was paid off in like six years. Oh, that's. Too bad. We're just paying it and paying it and paying it and paying it still. <laughs> we, we should look into that. Yeah. <laughs> We should get someone on that. I don't know. Someone should someone should report on that. No. Yeah. Right. Somebody right. somebody in the news someone business in the, in the should news should pick up that ball and take a look at that. that. Yeah, that might yeah. not be a bad idea. Um, so, so I, I guess I got nothing else to talk about tonight. Um, <laughs> hey, I just want to stress again. All right. So when we do, oh, I'm actually whenever the show goes off. Explain the, air, the money in the bank. The Patreon in the yeah. bank. Yeah, exactly. So, um, right after the show ends and all the cameras are turned off and the mics are killed and we're going <laughs> to the secure room, that soundproof room in the back. Sorg and I are going to discuss the tears. Uh, for the Patreons, for Patreon in the bank. Not everyone gets the same thing. We are. You know, they're, we got a $1 level. We got a $5 level. We got the $10 level. Then you got the Platinum class, right? Rolls Royce of Patreon supporters, the $20 level. And, and, and God only knows, godlike, like world-changing infinity gauntlet, you know, kind of powers. Who knows what we're going to give it to them. But not everyone's going to get that, you see. You, 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 want, you want the $20 level? You got to pay the $20 level. You want to play hard. You see, you want your one dollar level. That's fine. You get in. You make a move. You might get. You know, you get to do one or two things. You come in with that ten, twenty. You're gonna do. You're gonna get like six or seven things to do. It's gonna be or it's, one it's Clark shirt. shirt or one Clark shirt. I mean, who knows, right? Right? It's gonna be awesome. So that's coming up March twenty sixth. Remember, longer tenured patrons get preferential treatment when it comes to the order of play. So don't wait. All right. Don't be like Mad Mike. Don't be like that. Wait till the end. Matt Mike's going to go where we want him to go. All right? But AJ, Bo Diggity, the OG of Patreons, he's going to go wherever the hell he wants. He can go first. He can go last. He can come in the middle. He can take a coffee break, go to the pisser, come back. He can do whatever he wants. It's going to be great. So, um, and, and basically, the Patreon in the back, people will get to just make absurd, you know, changes. Just like, you know, we, we got to get eight matches graduated. We only got two right now. So, people will be able to, like, auto-graduate stuff, add stipulations to the matches, um, if you want to do like add a title or a special ref, uh, I think one year I was just looking at an old one. One year someone would have Mike McGurk be the special ring announcer for one of the uh, matches. That was great. Um, so uh, yeah, lots of good stuff. Did did they explain why they uh, got rid of Charlotte? Um, why did he get? 
Oh, it was one of the pit fight guys. I got to look it up real quick. I can tell you. He had a good reason. He just said he was sick of her. Um, <laughs> is that a good reason? Sure. <laughs> oh, the Cena effect. Yeah. yeah. It's just kind of one of those things. You get yeah. you just get too I, I much. Think, I think they were. Sam from pit fight. It was Sam who got rid of her. They and were... we were shocked because he was like, oh, maybe we won't use it. Eh, maybe I won't use it. And then he comes at the very end. I think Charlotte had actually, she was on the card in a match against Seth Rollins. Yeah. And someone kicked her off, brought in Aleister Black, I think. And like, the next thing we know, Sam was like, I want to use my Eliminator. Get rid of Charlotte. <laughs> I was like, okay. I, like, yeah, there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of grudges. I but see, that makes sense to use your Eliminator held. on somebody good. Mm-hmm. Because if you're, if you're just getting rid of garbage people. Mm-hmm. Right. You're not going to use him anyways. Yeah, like, but the you know, first like, person I would go is Shane McMahon. But then again, we've that's had, pretty good. Yeah, that's that's yeah. That's, I'm yeah. sick of him I jumping off. Of people stuff. doing stuff. Yeah, that's all he does. I mean, my thing. I mean, when I got mine, I used mine on Ric Flair because I was very concerned people were going to try to book him into a match, and I don't think that's safe for anybody. Sure. So I'm like out of personal. It's a great move. Personal, you know, concern for yeah. 70 year old Ric Flair. You know, got to add him. Out know, of harm's way. You he don't appreciate that. You don't want tweet. him. To, you don't want him to die on our show. Not on right, our show. Yeah. You can right. go on theirs. Batista can drag them around. Yeah. <laughs> then die on ours. <laughs> Great. Rest in peace, Rick. I mean, no, he's, he's alive. alive. He's You're alive. Good. Good, Rick. Yeah. Thank God. World is a better place with Rick Flair yes. around. Okay. So there how long, did it, how how many rounds does it go until it makes a super card? You got to go three rounds. Three without rounds. Without being changed in any way to make it to the super card. And we had a couple is matches. Is any at two right now? We had two that were right there on the doorstep and they both got changed this week. This one here. Okay. Was about to was about to make it, and that but it's knockout, ten times better. And now. then that Nakamura. Oh, well, I mean the colognes make everything better. So right. I mean, really, um, and that Nakamura Riddle match was about to graduate too, and then someone came in and got rid of it. So, yeah. hey, you know what? Just when you think you're there, you're not. It happens all the time. Yeah, matches get right to the doorstep, but that's what makes it fun. I like to watch these matches struggle, um, and it's always good. You, you, I mean, how many do you think the top? right here will stay? I, I see. Think... I see one. I think this one's got a chance. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, but this one's good, too. Ties match is good. But you know what? We don't even have three weeks left, so it's going to be up to the Patreons to decide if that one yeah. graduates or not. But it'll make it. You'll see. Um, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, Matt, thanks. Hey, thanks for having me, uh, bro. Cool. Thanks for hanging out with you. It's awesome. Yeah. Sorgi on the ones and twos. Thanks for pushing the buttons. Thank you for watching Talking Mayhem Mania. <laughs> Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Catch up on all the fun. Check out the old rounds and see how we got to this mess. And uh, we'll see you next week. And don't forget, Patreon in the bank, March 26th. Send us your money and uh, stay mayhem. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.